Hello and welcome to a session of data interpretation. What is data interpretation? Now data interpretation is nothing but data given in certain forms. Now these forms can be what tables, bar graphs, pie charts or even line graphs. So there are four basic types or there is another one which is called caselets wherein the data is not organized but it is given in the form of a paragraph. Now let's understand why is data interpretation so important. Now if I look at CAD 2011, CAD 2012, data interpretation normally occupies somewhere close to 8 to 9 questions in the quantitative section which is out of 30 questions. So out of 30, close to 30% goes to data interpretation. Let's have a look at a question and try solving it and understand the nuances of data interpretation. Let's have a first question. Now there is a directions which is given, the following data shows the comparative data for state wise literacy and population growth. So the data is nothing but literacy as well as population growth. Let us have a look at data closely. Now there are close to what 10 states which are given on the left side. On the top there is total literacy which is increase okay the percentage increase in the total literacy from 81 to 91. Similarly percentage increase in female literacy from 81 to 91 and the percentage increase in population growth from 81 to 91. Now it is very important to understand the data very 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 clearly. If I do not get it right then I cannot understand the questions. So here there are three columns each of them reflecting increase in literacy, total literacy, female literacy and increase in population in a span of 10 years from 81 to 91. Let us start looking at the questions. First question. Which of the following states shows a higher percentage increase in female literacy than the percentage increase in total literacy? Now female literacy has to be higher than the increase in total literacy. Let us start from the top, Andhra Pradesh. Now female literacy is lower, same is for Bihar, Gujarat, Haryana, Himachal Pradesh. Going down we see, okay, there is Kerala which is there and there is Manipur. So there are two states Kerala and Manipur here which have higher growth in female literacy compared to overall literacy. So option 1 and 3 which is first and 3 which is given in which third option 1 and 3. Hence the third option is the right option. Now let us have a look at the second question. For the state showing the minimum percentage increase in total literacy, the numerical ratio of the percentage increase in total literacy to the change in percentage population growth rate is nearly. Now let us have a look. First of all state with the minimum increase starting from top Andhra is what 25 percent lower than that is Bihar which is 22 percent going down we see that none of the other states qualify so Bihar has the lowest. So here the first value is what 22.34 now this is to increase in population or change in population which is minus 0.04 so minus let us remove it. So it is 22.34 is to 0 0.04. This comes to 558.5. Hence option B is the right option. Let us have a look at the third question. The ratio of percentage increase in female literacy to the percentage increase in total literacy is maximum for which state? Now increase in female literacy to increase in total literacy has to be maximum which means that female literacy has to be more. So let us start looking from the top. Andhra Pradesh it is less, Bihar is less. Gujarat is less, uh, Haryana is less, okay. Himachal is also marginally less, uh, Karnataka is less, Kerala is more, yes. And then we go down, we see Manipur is more. Now, we have to find out the ratio. If I go there, uh, Manipur is almost 1 because the difference is hardly anything. But Kerala, the difference is more than Manipur, although having a similar base. So we can very comfortably say that Kerala has the highest ratio. Hence option A is the right option. Now let us have a look at another question. The ratio of overall simple average of the percentage increase in female literacy to the simple average percentage increase in female literacy of the states where the percentage increases more than the overall average. Slightly confusing. Let us take the second part. Simple average percentage increase of female literacy of those states where the percentage increase is more than the overall average. Which means that first we have to find the overall average. So let us find it. The second column which is the increase in female literacy if tried if we sum it up and find the average what does it come to? It comes to what 26.5. 
So 26.5 is the overall average of the second column. What are the values bigger than that? Let's start from top. So first gone, second gone, third gone, fourth. So Haryana is higher, Himachal is higher, Karnataka is also yeah, marginally higher but higher, right? So going down, we have okay, Kerala is also higher and then we have Manipur which is higher. So we have five states which are higher. So now we need to find out the average of these five states. So let's find the average. So average of these five states comes to what? 29.436. Now roughly 29.4. So 26.5 is the first one and 29.4 is the second one. So the ratio becomes what? 0.9 approximately. Hence, we can comfortably say that the third option is the right option. Let's have a look at another question. The ratio of the simple overall average of the percentage increase in female literacy to the overall average of percentage increase in total literacy is approximately. Now, overall average of female literacy to overall average of total literacy. In the last question, we find out found out female literacy, which was what 26.5. Let's find out the overall average of overall literacy. Now, overall average of overall literacy, if we sum it up, it comes to what? 29.4. Or if we have we've not found out the average earlier, we can simply say sum of this and sum of that will also give me the same thing. So sum of females is what? 265 and sum of overall is what? 294. And hence the average is what? close to 0.9. So option A becomes the right option. Now look at the way we calculated everything. First of all, we understood the table clearly. So understanding the table, its legends, which is top, bottom, the directions is very important. Thereafter, the question can be slightly complex. So when we have a complex question, we have to break it down the way we did it for female literacy. So breaking a question to understand it better. And lastly, calculation, yes, we have to do it. So you'll have to go back, polish your mental calculation, and then DI becomes a slightly faster thing to do. All the best.